Hello students, today we will discuss a very important chapter that is motion in one dimension. In this chapter, motion in one dimension, we will discuss regarding uh, many things such as uh, rest and motion. Then we will discuss what is scalar and what is vector. Scalar and vector. Then we'll discuss uh, distance and displacement. We'll discuss then speed and velocity and acceleration. Well, students. Well, students. Now, what is motion in one dimension actually is? Now, we'll start the chapter motion in one dimension, but we should know what is motion in one dimension. The motion in one dimension, it means that the motion in a straight line, it will be in a straight line. That is, if you can take the motion in the x-axis, or you can take the motion in the y-axis, or you can take the motion in the z-axis, but you have to take only one axis. That is, motion in one dimension means when the body moves in a straight line. Now, there are other types of motion also, motion in two dimension. For example, if you throw a stone from the roof of a tower, you how the stone will move, you'll find the stone will come in this way. That is in a curved path. When it is a curved path, then we'll call it a motion in two dimension. And then it comes the motion in three dimension, like in the space, in the plane of the space, when anything is moving, this is motion in the three dimension. But now we are in class A9, we restrict ourselves only in the motion in one dimension rest and motion now let us understand what is rest and what is motion see a body is said to be at rest when it does not change its position with respect to its surrounding and motion when the body changes its place with respect to its surrounding with the time now see i am standing here so i am at rest with respect to you because the distance between you and me is not changing with respect to time but believe me, I'm I'm in the earth, and earth is moving, so I'm also moving. So can, you can say that I'm in motion. But as per the physical term is concerned, that with respect to you, I'm not I'm not moving. I am at rest because my distance between you and me is remain same. So we can say that a body can be in motion and at rest simultaneously. I'm giving you one example. Suppose you are moving by a car with your family, with your mother and your father. Now, a person standing outside, you'll find that you are moving. But do you think that your mother will think that you are moving? No, because the distance between you and your mother, it remains the same. So we can say that a body, it can be at rest and can be in motion simultaneously. So I'm clear? Rest means when the body does not change its position with respect to its time. And motion, when the body is changes with respect to surrounding with the time is called in motion. Now we'll come to uh, scalar and vector. Most probably you have heard the word scalar and vector. Now what is scalar and what is vector? See, the scalar means the physical quantities which have only the magnitude and the units. It does not have any direction. For example, if I say that a person is moving 35 km per hour, so it is a scalar quantity. Because you don't know in which direction he is moving, whether he is moving in north, or whether he is moving in east, whether he is moving in south, or whether he is moving in west, you don't know. But what you know? Yes, the, the speed of the person is 35 km per hour. 35 km per hour is a unit. So a scalar quantity means a physical quantity which has only the magnitude and the unit. We call it a scalar quantity. But when you come to a vector quantity, and with magnitude and the direction, and with magnitude and uh, your uh, unit, you must have to give the duration. Now, in the same thing, if I say the person is moving 35 km towards the east, then I can say yes, it is a vector quantity because I told you the duration of the person. The basic difference between the vector and the scalar is, the, you know, in case of the scalar quantity, we can add algebraically. But in case of vector quantity, we cannot add algebraically. There are certain rules and regulations we have to follow for the vector addition or vector multiplication. Uh, 
So what is the difference between scalar and vector? Once again, the scalar it has the magnitude, it has the unit, and the vector it has the magnitude, it has the unit, and it has the vectors. And uh, the scalar quantity, yes, always we take is the positive scalar quantity, and vector quantity it can be positive or it can be negative or it can be zero also. Now we come to the distance. What is distance? What is distance, dear students? What is distance? Distance. Uh, suppose a person is standing here, A, and he is going here, here to B at three kilometer, and then he has moved four kilometer. So, if I ask you what is the distance the person covered, so you will say that distance covered by the person is three plus four, that is seven kilometer. This is the distance. So distance means the actual path, the actual path, the particle traverses is called the distance. But when I come to the displacement, displacement means the minimum distance between the initial and the final position. Now, if I if you take this this case, the same case, the person is moving from A to B, three kilometer, then he went four kilometer. Then what is the displacement? If it is ninety degree, displacement is this one. Now, if you use the Pythagoras theorem, you'll find that this, this distance will be root over 3 square plus 4 square, and this is equal to 5. So, displacement in this case, I can say yes, displacement is 5 kilometers. But mind it, when you mention the displacement, you have to give the direction. The direction will be from initial position to the final position. That is, you have to mention the displacement is 5 kilometers from A to C. From A to C. Now, what is the then what will be the difference between the distance and displacement? Fine, distance it is always positive, and displacement it can be positive, it can be negative. And distance, the uh, dis distance it is uh, distance is a scalar quantity, and displacement is a vector quantity. Now, the distance it can be more than a displacement. But displacement cannot be more than a distance. But displacement and distance, when they they can be same also. When they can be same, when they are in a straight line. When the distance and displacement are in a straight line, so they will be the same. So this is the basic difference between the distance and displacement. And you know that in both the cases, the unit of distance and displacement in both cases will be in SSS is going to be meter. Now we'll come to another important that is your speed. Now, everyone know what is speed? Speed. What is speed? Speed, it is the total distance travel per unit time. The rate of change of the, the rate of change of the travel per unit time. This is called the speed, distance by time. So if we mention, if we uh, mention this speed as V and time is T, then the formula will be displacement s is equal to v into t. It is the formula. Now unit of the speed in SI unit is meter per second. Now if we come to then if we come to instantaneous speed, in instantaneous tenuous speed. Now what is instantaneous speed? Instantaneous speed. See when the speed is moving variable. The speed is variable. It is moving. Suppose you are moving by a car, you find the speed is moving. Speed is continuously changing. Interstellar speed means at a particular instant, and we can measure the interstellar speed by very small distance by the by the distance travel within a very small interval of the time. So we can say the interstellar speed is equal to distance travel by time when t is very small or t tends to zero. This is the interstellar speed. And then average speed. What is average speed? Average speed is total distance covered by the total time. Average speed. Average speed. This is total distance by total time. This is your average speed. Now we'll come to the Velocity. Now, what is velocity? The velocity is the rate of change of the distance in a particular direction. 
or we can say the velocity is the rate of change of the displacement is called the velocity 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 is the rate of change of displacement so displacement by time we will call the velocity okay now unit of velocity and unit of speed both are same that is meter per second but in, in case of the velocity you have to give the uh, you, you know it is a vector quantity you have to give the duration so in the same way the uh, in the same way that is in the in case of the speed and in case of velocity the instantaneous velocity is the same the velocity in a when the in a very small interval of time the dis displacement in a very small interval of time we call is the instantaneous velocity but one thing i forgot to tell you that is uh, uniform motion yes there is term uniform motion uniform motion or uniform speed if you say the uni uniform speed uniform speed means when the body travels equal distance in equal interval of time we call it uniform uniform speed when the body travels equal distance in equal interval of time suppose in the first second it has covered 1 meter in the second second it had to cover 1 meter also so in 2 second it will cover 2 meter uniform speed means when the body covers equal distance in equal interval of time and the same way uniform velocity means when the body covers equal distance in equal interval of time in a particular direction we call it uniform velocity am i clear and now we will come to the acceleration now what is acceleration acceleration uh, you know in, in, in case of the uh, in case of the car or in case of the scooter you have seen uh, you have heard the word uh, accelerating it is accelerating it means it is changing speed increasing speed acceleration means the rate of change of acceleration means the rate of change of rate of change of increasing velocity now you have to mention that the increasing velocity the rate of change of increasing velocity is called the acceleration now if the if we uh, if acceleration is written as a and initial velocity is written as u and final velocity is written as v and time taken is t then the formula is a is equal to v minus u by t and then one more thing is that retardation the same way the rate of change of decreasing velocity we call is retardation okay so we have discussed the motion in one dimensional chapter in total that is rest in motion scalar and vector we have discussed speed and velocity we have discussed your distance and displacement we have discussed the differences between scalar and vector we have discussed the difference between the speed and velocity we have discussed what is acceleration and we have discussed what is retardation so dear students if you like this uh, video please don't forget to like and share and subscribe thank you thank you